volunteers in the community supporting swim for Melissa have transformed JC way into a miracle mile. They say although the format is different this year, the goal remains the same. In this age where nonprofits are having to do virtual events, we wanted to come up with a way that we could still do something in person that was safe. This is what the annual swim for Melissa fundraiser typically looks like, but in the age of the coronavirus pandemic, things look a lot different. Money for Swim for Melissa was raised online, but along Miracle Mile, drivers, aka swimmers, get a look at who were once NICU babies. Amy and husband Chris George founded the Melissa George Neonatal Memorial Fund with Huntsville Hospital after they lost their twin baby, Melissa, back in 2005. Melissa had complications that just medical technology could not help. She passed away in the unit, but Anne Catherine went on to spend 68 days there. The Georges realized the need to help families and NICU babies during the pandemic. Right now, there are certain restrictions in the NICU when it comes to visiting um, that weren't there before COVID because we've got to keep people in the hospital safe, right? Proceeds from this event will go toward 55 NIC view cameras for the Huntsville Hospital Women and Children's Unit. So families can log in from home. They'll have a secure login and they can log in from home and see their babies. One volunteer, Debbie Berry, says she's known the Georges for years now. This will be her third year participating in the fundraiser. Um, I always make a joke that I've got a uh, $300 overpriced cooler, but my cooler saves babies and yours doesn't. So um, all of that, all, everything that Amy and Chris do in, in Huntsville Hospital is amazing. Last year, this fundraiser was able to raise about $220,000 that went toward 10 beds for sick and premature babies. Putting the Valley first, Kenny Shadiz, WZDX News.